Hi, I'm Jacob. Hi, my name is Daryl. And we're going to give you a list of things that make us really mad. You know what makes me real mad? What? Michael Myers. Like, the lady's running, alright, you see? And he's just walking, and he always beats her. She, like, it has, like, a map to every city. You know? Good point. You know what? Why don't we just do a Michael Myers bash? Yes. Okay. Sorry about that. I'm Jacob. This is Daryl. And instead of doing a video on what makes us mad, we're going to do a Michael Myers bash. The thing I hate the most about Michael Myers... Well... I just don't see how he can walk. They run. He still catches up to him. I mean, think about this. He probably has to have a map. Like, of the freaking entire city and all the routes just to get to one place. And every building. So that he can do this. Two... His weapon of choice. It sucks. It's just a butcher knife. I mean, you might as well be better off using this. I mean, who uses a knife nowadays? It's the 21st century. They have automatic shotguns. You don't need a knife anymore, Michael. Time to get an upgrade, man. Time to get an upgrade. Another thing I hate the most is that he looks like he's on roids. I mean, he's just so massive and... The people he's going after are just so small. I mean, it's just, ah, you know what I'm saying? Just, ah. But then again, I'm like five foot six, so everyone looks like they're on roids to me. You know what makes me really mad? Michael Myers. He gets shot so many times, all right? Say, she's on a door, right? Like, he gets up. Start strangling her. The guy comes in with a magnum. Shoots. Shoots her. Shoots him. So many freaking times. He gets shot six times. Goes out the window. He hits the ground and he walks away. I just don't get it. As you can see, we both have really, really, really good points. But, um, well, I guess we'll just have to prove those points. Let's start with Daryl's list, shall we? Number one. This guy never dies. You're about to watch a scene, Halloween 2, right after she stabs him repeatedly, and then he just rises back up. Do you think you could do this? Well, let's see. Now, we're getting to the coincidentally time where the guy walks in with a magnum and shoots Michael six times. And then Michael falls off the edge, gets back up, walks away, and no one sees a thing. Makes sense. Okay, so three of the five points were proven there. One, I mean, he just doesn't die. Got stabbed repeatedly, froze up. Two, what a coincidence. Guy comes in with a magnum, old hairy guy, you know, comes in with a magnum, shoots Michael six times, a whopping six times. He falls off of a freaking building. 
gets back up, walks away. And three, did you see the size of this guy? He's like seven foot six or something. I mean, gosh, dang. This guy's huge. Secondly, his weapon being a knife, well, that's just already proven. I mean, let's, let's think about this. You have a knife, you're charging at a guy with a gun. All it takes, pow, pow, pow. Very you. <laughs> so, yeah. But now let's uh, go with them running and him walking. Let's see a clip from that, shall we? I love how she's drugged up and she can still run. And there he is, taking his good old time. Then you gonna stop him like the guy. Yeah. It's funny she fall out there. I think she does fall out on the subs. Get on my class, shaking his old time. Still on the steps. Man, you're slacking. Like, how she, hey, he finds her in the first place? Oh, she makes kind of noise. Never find me in here. Even though I moaned every step I took. Check back a zombie if I give me a He could have stabbed her. He wants to make her feel kinda of hacked at her. Did he close the window? <laughs> I can't believe she slipped through that window and she fell like a five a five foot drop. Now she just went through a totally different wall.